in this series of tutorials, we'll be projection mapping a house. How do you do projection mapping on a house? This series of tutorials will cover one approach to this challenge from start to finish. Whether it's your aim to create digital decorations for Halloween, or you want to design Christmas video mapping or other holiday projections, these tutorials will give you a beginner's knowledge of how to get started 3D projection mapping a house or building. We will be using After Effects software, which is a powerful motion graphics and visual effects application from Adobe. It requires a subscription, but you can get it on a monthly plan and it's well worth the money if you're serious about projection mapping on your house. I have included a link to all the kit I use, including the make and model of the projector in the description. The method of 3D video mapping that I will be showing you is different from other workflows you might have seen in tutorials online. With those methods, you set your projector up in front of the house and you draw out the outlines of the building, which provides you essentially with a projector's eye view. This forms your guide, which you can then design your animations over. Incidentally, with this method, the projector's point of view is also the optimal viewing position of the audience standing behind the projector. The most important thing to remember with this method is that through the entire process, the projector position must not change. Once you've designed video content from your projector's point of view, if the projector then moves position, if your kid knocks into it or there's a thunderstorm and you're worried it might get wet so you bring it in, your designs won't look quite right anymore unless you find that exact projector position again. And if you change your mind and want to project from a different angle entirely, or maybe you want to introduce an additional projector on the other side, then your video content really won't look right and you have to redesign all your content for the new point of view. If I had to summarize, the other workflows require you to make content that already has a point of view baked in, the point of view of the projector. We'll be making neutral content that we then conform to a point of view through the process of projection mapping. Also for me personally, I didn't want the DIY challenge of having to make some weatherproof housing for the projector that keeps it secure and in a fixed position. I just wanted to dive right into the creative parts and have the flexibility to map from anywhere I wanted on the day of the show. I also didn't like the idea of sitting outside in the cold of November before Halloween or even December ahead of Christmas doing these outlines probably with my neighbors watching me thinking, what is she doing? So I came up with a new method where you don't have to do this. Instead, with my method, you take reference photos during the day, then you're free to come inside where it's warm and do the rest from your computer. When the day of the show comes, you just need 10 minutes to do the actual projection mapping on the building. To summarize, the main advantages of my proposed workflow are you don't need to keep your projector in a fixed position until the night of the show. You don't have to project from the audience's perspective. You can have your projector off to one side, leaving your audience with an uninterrupted view in the center. And you can use multiple projectors without multiplying the design work. Let me know which holiday or event are you planning to do house projection mapping for? Tell me in the comments and see you in the next tutorial.